Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. It's me, Cora. So today we are continuing on with Lipstick Week. I am super excited. If you haven't already checked out the other videos in the series, I'll have a link to it in the description bar down below. I am really excited about today's video. We're doing the Artist Rouge from Makeup Forever. I love Makeup Forever. I think that they're one of the best artistry driven lines that also has interesting products that tons of, you know, just everyday consumers would be interested in. The Artist Rouge lipstick is a relaunch of their original Artist Rouge lipstick, so I'll just briefly show this to you. I bought this years ago, and to be honest, I wasn't really into these. Um, they have like a very distinct like traditional lipstick kind of smell that just kind of ooks me out which I don't know, just I, I'm just being real with you guys right now I wasn't a fan of the original art you know these were called um Rouge Artist Intense they were incredibly pigmented they had some beautiful colors but the scent just totally turned me off for the uh, revamp they really redid these and they did such a beautiful job I am so excited um for this launch they also uh, partnered with Iconopop and if you guys don't know who Iconopop is and you might not have heard the song I got this feeling on a summer day when you were gone okay so so the thing that was really cool with the PR box they sent me one of these little video things so I'll go ahead and play this for you guys how cool So that was kind of cool. I always like to share like really fun, cool PR stuff with you guys. Um, and one thing that was neat is that I've gotten these video things before, but never has anyone ever actually sent me a cord, uh, which I mean, these are fairly universal, but st I like, I thought that was pretty cool. The package that I was sent contained six lipsticks and I actually love all of them. Kind of rare. There's usually like one or two that I'm not into or I like really favor one over the over, but I actually pretty much equally like all of these. When we launched this, they came out with just totally new packaging. The packaging is really quite lovely. It's this sort of just simple black metal case it feels very heavy um not like mm, but you know it, it has a nice weight to it it feels substantial it feels luxurious even though the packaging overall looks very industrial the top has their little makeup forever lip with the brush logo and then the bottom is the shade indicator now these don't really have names um they have numbers so this is c502 very inspiring name there uh a sort of um gray purple and the bottom here has a silver bit where it says the makeup forever logo professional paris so very cool uh then there is m401 which is the red oh my gosh this is a beautiful red lipstick one thing i really liked about these as i was applying them is that these have a very narrow lipstick line and at first i wasn't particularly attracted to this sh the shape of the lipstick itself itself because I'm just used to something else but as I was applying it I noticed how because it has that fine tip you can almost like line out your lips and because it's narrower you can get in those little nooks and crannies around the corners of your mouth quite easily without having to use a lip brush so pretty dang impressed that was some you know that was some good thinking there next shade is C211 which is the sort of pinky nude love this this is a very flattering lipstick i've worn it quite a few times it's kind of like one of the go-to ones when i first got the package i was like you know i was using that one the most the next one is a creamy creamy beige nude this is c105 so there's different finishes there's creams there's mattes i believe there are other finishes but those are the only two that i could find on the sephora website they're highly pigmented you guys these have crazy pigmentation the one that i'm wearing today is one of the uh, icona pop uh collaboration ones this one oh god Gosh, this one I just love. This is C603, a beautiful navy blue. Such a great color. I've tried a lot of blue lipsticks lately, and I think this might be my favorite of the bunch. It's just so pigmented. It's kind of juicy looking, and it's strangely kind of flattering. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that this is like the most flattering lipstick I've ever worn, but it's definitely not the worst blue I've ever worn by a long shot. So my goth friends, my like kind of like weirdo girls who love these fun colors, I find that these don't really have a taste, 
but they do have very slight smell it's very very minimal and you guys know I'm like the pickiest about smells and tastes like if it's like if I can't hang with it I just can't I almost don't really even notice this uh I I notice it like if I you know stick it under my nose and sniff but when I was applying this one today I didn't even smell it so it's a very very mild fragrance so if you're if you're if you're like me and you're fairly sensitive you're probably not even gonna really notice it and it completely goes away within like a minute of applying it um yeah, I can't smell it at all right now. I hope that was entertaining for you. And then the final color is C506. This is the one that I wore the most initially in addition to that like pinky nude one. These two are the ones where I was like busting into the package before I really had time to like properly devote to really reviewing them and was just like, oh my god, I wore it so much. I also posted a photo of this on my Instagram kind of showing you guys after I'd worn it for several many hours over my chapped lips and a lot of you guys mentioned that you appreciated that because a lip swatch is great, but like how does it wear in real life? And these are the lipsticks out of all of them for lipstick week that I've had the longest, that I have been testing out the longest, and I gotta say I really, really love these. Now in terms of the price, these are 0.2 ounces for $22. So they're on the higher end of the lipstick scale. However, what you're getting for your money is a incredibly pigmented lipstick with a very creamy glide on the lips just beautiful formula a really cool packaging whether you get the icona pop one or just the original very streamlined very clean looking and industrial yet luxurious at the same time i love that they have the logo in the metal on the bottom i think it's really um it's so clever the way that they did this i really really am attracted to the overall design of it you're also getting um some really fun colors i mean there's really great colors in this line the the range is huge i like all of the colors this never happens especially like with nudes and stuff i'm usually so picky but i love all of these so make up forever if you feel like sending me some more i'm here I'm, I'm here for you i would love to take more lipstick off your hand um so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out the other videos in lipstick week which i will have linked in the description bar down below as well as playlists to my other videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video remember to eat vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful